Hello, Jen here, and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys. Another late night, everybody's in bed, so I'm hopping in front of the camera to show you my Dollar Tree stuff kind of haul. Um, so let's just jump right into it. Thank you so much for joining. Um, click that subscribe button so that you catch all of these hauls that I do. I'd like to make them a more frequent thing because I tend to pile up all this stuff and then they become really long hauls, but uh, I do get at least one a month, so I think that's pretty good. Um, I'm just looking at all my stuff, trying to decide where we should start. I think we'll start with Easter stuff. So in the last haul, I showed you guys this. And I said there were a couple different styles and there were also do-it-yourself ones. And I went back and I got one. I thought it might be fun for the baby to play around with some paint and just, you know, decorate this one up to give to his grandma. So it's hard to see on camera. There we go. So it says Happy Easter and it just has the little Easter basket and then these ones have the cute little pom-poms. Very cute, very sweet. It's sort of a canvassy material. And I just think it will be fun for him to do something cute that, um, you know, we can write his name and age and date on the back and then grandma will have a cute little keepsake. So I thought that was kind of fun. There were other styles of this too and the pom-pom frill I think was different colors depending on the style, but I just wanted to pick one up and I thought it would be a cute craft. I found all of these. I was really excited. Um, so these I've seen being hauled a few times and they are just these fun little ornaments, uh, wooden ornaments, and then they kind of look like the wood grain in the Eastery color. So there are purple eggs. There are yellow eggs. Blue and then the pink. So I thought those were really cute. You can DIY them, use them for a garland, leave them exactly like this. These would be really adorable little tags if you wanted to cut an initial or something like that out or a whole name and put them on here. They'd make really cute tags on all the different Easter baskets. Um, so yeah, I grabbed all the colors that I could find. There's probably only the four, but I could be wrong. I'd love to see a green if there was a green one. That would be fun. I grabbed one of these guys. I showed the eggs that I got with this interesting finish to them. Let me block out my face so you can see. Um, so yeah, I got the Easter eggs and then I saw him just kind of all by his lonesome and went back and grabbed him. I think he's super cute. Throw a pom-pom right here and it looks like a little bunny sitting backwards and you don't even have to do anything to it. But this is the right size for a wreath and all those kinds of things. DIY it however you want. Add some little pink paw kind of prints here. There's lots of fun things you could do. I grabbed four of these little chocolate uh, Easter egg flat. I think they're flat. Yep. They're just flat and then they're filled with peanut butter. Again, I'm glaring. Here we go. There. So I grabbed one for each of the kids. Um, I'm allergic to peanut butter, so we don't do a lot of peanut butter stuff here, but I thought these were really cute. The kids are going to love them. They're not really big into the Easter chocolates, so I tend not to go crazy overboard spending money on them. They get a couple of their, you know, absolute favorites that I spend a little bit more money on, purdy stuff or whatever, more expensive chocolate. We've never tried these before though, so I don't know how they are and uh, if the kids are gonna like them, but I thought that they were kind of cute and they're just the right size, so each of them will get one of those. I also grabbed um, these foil peanut butter eggs. And then these ones are the caramel ones. And I think uh, in one of my bags, I also have the crispy ones. These are just the perfect little treats to hide around the house. And they're just a little kind of step up from plain solid eggs. They get some of those too. I kind of stuff the plastic eggs with whatever will fit and then hide them all over the place. So I always grab a couple packs of these. Is that everything in here? Oh yes. So I grabbed two of these packs. I have noticed that the Smarties boxes are now smaller and they're more expensive. Um, 
but my kids like Smarties, especially the babies. So I did grab this for $1.25. I think that's kind of crazy. This is definitely a better deal to get at Walmart when you can get multiple packs. Um, but I just thought this was a cute little cute little box and I wanted to show you that they're there and so if you're making gift baskets these are really adorable little um, packages to add and you can see it has the little Easter well maybe you can't see hold on here there you go it has the little Easter image on it so if you were just making up some Easter baskets these are really cute you could add them in okay next up um I'm just gonna dig into this container here so we have birthday month, March. I have three of my kids' um, birthdays and my mom's birthday. And there's other people, cousins and stuff too. But I always stock up on these balloons. These are the 15 pack and they say happy birthday on them. Now, <laughs> if you guys know me, you know that I actually hate balloons. We have a dog, we have a cat, we have four kids. Uh, balloons pick up everything. Hair, I have long hair. Um, Balloons pick it all up. It's gross. I don't like them. These ones are cheap. There's a lot in the package. They say happy birthday. They pop really easy and then you can just get rid of them. So uh, that's what I go for. But my kids love balloons. All kids love balloons. Um, I have Mylar balloons right here because they love getting a couple of like pretty personalized balloons. I also get those at Dollar Tree. Um, I will show you the bunch that I have sitting right beside me. So. Two of my kids have already had their birthdays. Um, here we go. I'll probably pop a picture in here. So, where's this one? Look at the pretty pink. Isn't that gorgeous? And then look at this one too I found. it's She's not really into like the mermaid tail or anything, but look at this. It's like mermaid tail or sequins super fun big bunch of balloons here this was two separate um sets so i had the the kind of like pink and purple and silver for my daughter and then i had more of the, like the primary colors for my son um i will show a picture somewhere around here so you can see the two of them again i don't go overboard with the giant balloons not a balloon person um but you know some balloons are really fun and festive and for a dollar 25 that's a pretty good price compared to party city or places like that that i might um otherwise go to so those are the balloons for my next son coming up my third child I got some streamers. His favorite color is green, so I got these pom-pom streamers. We've done these quite a bit. They're a little bit finicky. You kind of have to like pull them apart and the ribbon that ties them, I have to usually undo it and tie it a lot tighter just to like keep it nice and secure, but they're fun when they're finally all put together and I just give it to one of the kids and they have at her so and then this is sort of like a banner of tassels so we'll just decorate around the kitchen usually with that kind of stuff I already have um, a happy birthday banner and and those types of things and I will get him some of those mylar balloons as well um, but closer to the day so that they don't start to to deflate although these are now six days old and they're still looking fantastic so, so this um, one is sort of I get the impression um a little handmaiden's tail-ish it's um either dystopian or just like an alternate world kind of thing uh it's called the birthyard by Mallory Tater this one's called before I go to sleep uh as you can see they've made a movie about it um and it's by sj watson this one is a thriller i think and i think what happens in this one is that um she has some sort of short-term memory loss so every night when she goes to sleep when she wakes up in the morning she won't remember anything about who she is where she's from and all of that kind of stuff and so she's trusting that the person she lives with her husband i think is um actually telling her the truth about everything this one's called A Map of the Dark. It's by Karen Ellis. It's a, a like detective thriller. So um, a detective goes home to visit her ailing dad and a teenage girl goes missing. And then of course there's gonna be all kinds of things that come up in her own past as she tries to find the missing teen. 
And then this book here is called The Stolen Angel by Sarah Bladell. I actually have several of the books in this series already. Um, I've read The Forgotten Girls and I have The Killing Forest and I have The Night Woman and I have The Running Girl. Um, this is in her Louise Rick series and so when I saw this I was like oh my gosh I don't actually have this and this is something I would have paid probably full price for when I got to this book in the series and I just bought it for $1.50. So always, always, always check the books. Check the books. Um, yeah, and I have also bought a few other books that I don't have here with me because I've been giving them to my dad. I have found Jake Tapper books, I have found Harlan Coben books, um, and those are all books that he really enjoys, so, um, yeah, check the books. I grabbed a couple of brushes. We all have long hair here. I with the exception of my husband whose head is shaved um but even the baby has longish hair it's actually like almost down to his shoulders now so we go through brushes quite a bit and these ones here with the soft bristles are a lot nicer in his hair it's still that really baby fine hair and then this one's actually more like a wet brush which comes in really handy um and i don't mind only paying a dollar fifty for them i actually feel like the cheaper quality of it uh which it's not super cheap quality it's just the cheaper quality um he just tolerates a little bit better because it's a little bit softer so grabbed both of those just the gray version of them i think there may have been a pink one and like a baby blue or teal in this and i think there was just a pink in this one Landon has been super obsessed with sunglasses lately, so we bought him just this little pair here, which he thinks are super cool. Um, his two older brothers wear glasses, and his dad wears glasses, his grandma wears glasses. Lots of people in his life wear glasses, so he thought these were really cool. We grabbed this guy. So my kids, of course, watch YouTube and they love doing all the different taste tests of things and having me film all of their reactions. So we've tried a whole bunch of the different Katie flavors and the Cheetos flavored um, mac and cheese. And this is poutine flavor booster. So essentially you just make your mac and cheese or you could make any noodles you don't have to do this but you want to make about two cups of noodles um because this should make about two cups i'd say and then you pour this on instead of the kd cheese or you could do both if you really want that like extra flavor um you pour this on so we've done the jalapeno there's cotton candy this one's poutine we have not found the buffalo wings and we haven't found oh i think we i think we have the butter chicken one as well but we haven't found the buffalo wings and we haven't found the ghost pepper one um so these are kind of fun they're a little expensive at a dollar 25 but it's it's like a one-off novelty thing and then the very very last thing that i have is these two giant planters they're huge I mean, look at that compared to my head. They're absolutely massive. They're really deep. Let me see if they have a volume on them. Um, nope, they don't. They're just very big. They have the punch outs in the bottom for draining. They just pop out. You can just use like a screwdriver or whatever, and they just pop out really easily. They're kind of flimsy, but for us, we don't really have a spot in our yard that gets full sun all the time. So to have things in pots that we can move around is really, really beneficial. Um, and so I think this year we won't have a garden kind of in the ground. We will have pots. And so this will hold a ton of beautiful little flowers or some lettuce or, you know, just a variety of different things. So I did grab two of them I might grab more but we haven't really planned what we're doing for our garden this summer so I thought two was a good start and yeah that is it for no it isn't hold on I found this one lone piece of paper <laughs> this is um from pink paisley it's a page Evans from her pick-me-up collection which is several years old now let me see 
um yeah it's from 2018 it was this was it this was the only piece uh, and it caught my eye I instantly recognized it and I grabbed it I didn't have that collection but I have a few little bits and pieces especially some of the ephemera so I went ahead and grabbed that piece of paper and that is it for Dollar Tree uh, let me show you a couple of things I got from Dollarama and then we're all done so I grabbed these guys they are so cute they're the little plastic containers like little egg containers but they look so much like chocolate I can't even believe like they really truly look like real chocolate these are gonna be so cute either hanging from a garland basically what you do is you pop them open put your string here make your little loop then close them and you can just seal them with some glue and then you have the little loop that you can go ahead and hang from your garland with all my carrots I thought those would look so cute but you could put these in tear trays you could put these into uh, maybe like a tablescape there's lots of little things you can do to to use these to decorate I only grabbed two packs I kind of wish I had grabbed four um, they were $1.50, so not too, too bad. 25 cents more than if I had bought them at Dollar Tree, but Dollar Tree doesn't have these, so that's the trade-off. Uh, but I just thought they were so cute. I fell in love with them as soon as I saw them. My friend Carrera told me about this cord that she got for four bucks. It's a whole spool of cord that actually would work really good for macrame, which is what I plan to use it for. Um, I just need to make something that I haven't been able to find uh, to buy, so I'm gonna make it myself. There's 164 feet of cord on here. So this is just like a really good utility cord for anything. It's cotton, so you know, whatever you need to use it for. I just thought for four bucks, that was a pretty good deal. So I grabbed one. I grabbed some water shoes. Dollarama always comes out with these little water shoes. And so I grabbed these ones for the baby because uh, we love to go down to the river. We also have some summer beach going ahead of us. And I just wanted to grab the little pair before um, they all sell out. These ones always sell out first. The littlest ones and the biggest ones always sell out first. So I grabbed this pair. I think they might be a little bit big for him. I do actually think this will be big enough to fit his AFO in. So if he needs a little extra stability on the beach, we can go ahead and do that. But I think he'll be fine to pop those on and play around. And then I found two cute little puzzles. These were each a dollar. You can see there is a fox, and then here is a lion, and essentially they're just little kind of puzzles that you put together, and then I think they move. They're 3D puzzles, and it looks like the legs on them move, and on this one I think maybe the tail moves. These again are just really cute little gift basket-y, easter -y ideas or you know your emergency box ideas that I love. Um, there were probably six or seven different types but I just got these two because I know these are the ones my boys will like. And that is it for this haul. Thank you so so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, let me know what you're finding at your stores. I think maybe our stores are back on track. I'm starting to see that there is new stock coming in, things that I'm recognizing from uh, watching other hauls. So fingers crossed that things might be kind of returning a little bit back to normal and uh, we'll be getting lots of new goodies. So let me know what your favorite goodies have been and I really appreciate you guys coming. Chat with me down below and until next time, happy shopping. Bye.